Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to this game's tutorial. Today we fix a really annoying save bug that um, you had if you built on your device and you actually use the cloud saving. We're actually fixing that today and we also look forward to what's going to happen with the game next. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so let's quickly have a look at this bug first. I'm currently building a APK for um, the tower game, and I'm going to run it on the emulator. Now, the reason I do this is because I'm quite tired of taking my uh, webcam and just trying to show it to you through that, because of course the glare is awful and all that kind of stuff. So, what I did is I got myself the Nox emulator, which is um, really cool actually. I've been using it since, and I'm having quite a good time. So, uh, those are games I installed, games you've made. And I'm quickly going to take my APK, which should be built in, um, if I remember, the folder, my asset folder, just on top of that, so over here, my build. And um, I have the Nox emulator installed, I'm going to double click on it, and it should actually start installing right away. Now this way we can actually test it on a device, even though it's not like handheld device, it's still a Android build running behind that. So let's open it up and have a look at this problem. This problem was reported by a few people on the Facebook page, so um, that is why that's the first one I'm trying to tackle. So here it is. I'm logged in, this is my uh, Google Play name, and then that's what we get. The tower never grows, we're really never really loading our save file, and if we try to do anything, <laughs> we can't. So after testing a little bit, I figured out that the problem was inside of the uh, load cloud function. Everything local is cool, everything local works well. However, we have a function that is called load from cloud or load cloud. And uh, this one has a few delegates, few callbacks. And we eventually, if I just show it to you, um, we go here, that's the saving game open. Then we check, okay, are we reading data? Yes, we are. So we go inside of the saving game loaded. And then at this point, this is where the code is not being ran. So we never make it to the load from string. However, we do not pop that debug log either, so our problem is inside of here. Now, I'm not really a Android debug expert, so what I did is I actually used my pop-up manager to just uh, give myself some um, debug.log while I was doing this. So, pop-up manager instance, and I'd be like, okay, is this being called? And if it is, that means my code made it to that point. And it did. Um, the area where the crash is over here. And this is a really dangerous area because we do a parse, but then what happens if we don't actually get data from the cloud? What happens if it's the first time we actually call the cloud? Then we get a, a string that is pretty much empty, and we're trying to parse that. So that's where the problem happens. The execution of our code stops from there, and we really can't go any further. So um, here's what we're going to do. We are going to just comment these out. We don't need those anymore. Well, we do, but we're going to write them in a different way. So we're going to start by declaring a ulong cloud time, then coma local time. Now these are equal to null, we don't really um, have any data in them. And then what we're going to do is a ulong.parse, actually a try parse, and then the string we're trying to convert is, um, in this case let's do the cloud save split at the index is zero, like that, and we do a out cloud time. So if it works, cloud time is going to have data inside of it, and if it doesn't, then cloud times remain null. We're going to copy this over for the local save and the save time, I mean local time. Okay, so at this point, at least our code keeps going, it's not crashing, so if it, if, if it doesn't work, um, all it really does is just, we stop there and we go on to the next line. We tried, but we didn't succeed. That, that is pretty much what the try parse does. Now to check if we did succeed, however, we're going to use some um, if statement. So let's do if cloud time is equal equal to zero, that means it didn't succeed. Or, oops, or local time is equal equal to zero, that means one of our save is empty. So one of our save does not exist yet. So what we do in this case is we look at, well, which one is it? So if cloud time oops, is not equal to zero, so we can do something like that, or let me just go back and remove this. If cloud time is not equal to zero, that means there is data in cloud time, 
And um, well, if there is data in cloud time, that means there is no in local time because we are inside of this if is one. If one of these two values is null, then we enter this if. And over here, we check is it cloud time that is null. If it's not null, we're gonna say load from string, and we're loading the cloud save. Now we do else if. It's really important to do the else if because both of them might actually be empty. So else if local time is not equal to zero, then we go ahead and we load this guy. So local is saved. But now if those two are empty, if it's the very first time we boot the game, let's just do a load from string. Oh, actually, put the else statement here, really important. Else load from string. And we are going to load the um, get empty string or get empty save string. After that, we do a return, also very important, don't forget about that. And uh, we can just remove that line. Okay, so let's quickly go over that again. If one of these two values is null, then we can't really run this because this is using both local time and cloud time. And if we have no uh, value inside of those, it's just going to mess up our code. So um, if one of these two value is null, then we enter the if and we eventually exit using the return. So we're never really running this. This could even be into, this could be in a else statement. But you know, it's pretty safe like it is right now. Um, and uh, say if one of those two values is not filled with data, then we don't use it. If it is filled with data, we use it. And if none of them are filled with data, then we do a get empty save string. Now this should actually do the job. Let me quickly build that building this to the same folder. And just to make sure, I'll take my the tower, uninstall the game. And when you uninstall the game, you're also removing the local save. So you're also removing the uh, registry entry for that game on the Android device. And here it is. So we wait a little bit, it should sign in my account. Because my Google account is actually um, under the phone as well. And then we wait. And it did work, as you can tell. We got the little pop-up, and now that means we're able to click and play our game. And our game actually looks pretty cool on this device. All right, guys, so that's going to be pretty much it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped. Uh, we finally fixed this bug. I know this bug was there, like, since we started doing art, but I was really into making art at that point, so <laughs> um, we just kept going. And uh, anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you did, please leave me a like. Really appreciate that. If you have any comment or question, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, check out the Patreon page if you wish to support me. And um, just some news on what is going to happen with the game in the next few episodes. We are going to add just a little bit features, and then we're going to publish it and just leave it there for a little while while I redo the um, the art of the game. So basically, what we're adding is some kind of save. So. Um, I'll just explain to you in the next episode, but basically, say you make it to wave 10, then you can start at wave 10 next time, or something like that. So guys, that's going to be pretty much it for this episode. Again, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the next one.